Over the past few weeks, we have seen several witnesses testify for the Labour Party, stressing that the election was fraught with irredeemable irregularities that should not be allowed to Yes, so my country people are now there and I welcome back to this channel. We also update the flow like fire. Beg, this is your first time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more updates. See, I still tell them I say truth. Uh, you know if you hide truth, no matter how long it takes, you know if you hide. You no know, say truth be like fire. You know if you cover and clothes. You see, this video be uh, this man gets sense where well, when well. I want me when I come down watch this video. Eh? I can't watch this video because person will be saying collect something will belong to small picking, raise your hand up, collect and raise your hand up. No matter how you take B, your hand go tired and you will still bring them down. Eh? I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna watch this video, I'm gonna just listen in Abbey as they watch and don't forget to subscribe and share this video. You need to share them, okay? Share this video and please turn on your bell icon for more updates. I'm gonna enjoy them. This last witness for the Labour Party is Dr. Yanusa Tanko and the INA Council was the first to take a crack at him. He said, Tanko, thank you for your 105 paragraph witness statements. Please confirm to the court where you were on the 25th February election day. I voted at my polling unit in Dawaki, Abuja, after which I left the Labour Party at Sokoro Situation Room. Later, I went back to confirm the results at the polling unit before going back again to the Situation Room. Apart from your polling unit and the Situation Room, you were not physically anywhere else on that day? Yes, the witness replied. What is your designation in the Labour Party? I am the Chief Spokesman of the Presidential Campaign Council, as well as the National Director of Media of the Labour Party. So, it is correct to say you were not a polling unit agent or a coalition agent. I am the coalition agent for the Situation Room. So, you were not a polling unit agent or coalition agent for your party at any of the annex centers. I was the agent at my polling unit. The annex lawyers now drew closer to Mr. Tanko, displaying a document he said, were you involved in any case against the INEC? Do you recognize this? Yes, I recognize it, said the witness, glancing at the document. The lawyer went on to specify the case contained in the document to the panel. He said, I seek to tender it. It was the turn of the Labour Party Council to begin their chorus of objections, which they did vociferously. He said, I object to the tendering of these documents as evidence and I will state the reasons in our final address. Guys, this is interesting. Two can certainly play the game. You should expect more of this when Annex starts to put up their own defense starting July 3rd, 2023. We will be here to cover all the drama and intrigues. Nevertheless, the documents were admitted as evidence. The INEC concept continued. Look at page 2 of Exhibit X1. Read the declarations your party sought from the court. A declaration not to opt for manual upload but electronic method. An order of the court to compare INEC to comply with provisions of the law. With the last two paragraphs of the judgment, the court ruled that INEC will choose its method as provided by law. Did your party appeal the judgment? I am not aware of this matter or any appeal. Okay, let me break this down a little bit for you guys, for the sake of clarity. There is indeed a Supreme Court judgment saying that INEC can use whatever method it desires. That's not the problem. INEC can indeed use whatever means of collation, transmission it so desires. The problem is that on their own, they choose to use electronic means of transmission. They communicated this procedure to all the parties, saying this is the method of transmission they were going to use. With this in mind, all the political parties made plans and preparations to execute their campaigns. However, in the middle of that process, INEC stopped the electronic transmission process. It is this breach of process that the Labour Party and Peter will be a challenging. Does it make sense now? Okay, let's continue. The INEC Council now asked the witness to be shown a specific document referencing a particular polling unit. He then turned to the witness and said, Tell the court the score of Labour Party there. The witness replied, They are mutilated. I cannot identify. That is not what I asked. At this point, the Labour Party Council stood up to defend his witness and to stop the intimidation. He said, Allow him to record his answer rather than shutting him up. This is not fair. What of the respondents? What is their score? persisted the INEC Council. I cannot see it. It is mutilated. You cannot see it? Can you see the score of APC at 17 votes? I cannot see it. It is mutilated, replied the witness. Is it mutilated or blood? Which one do you want the court to take? They are mutilated and blood. In the whole paragraph 105, confirm to this court that you did not state any figure as unlawful vote. As the witness was about to respond, saying that has been stated by, the council cut him off. He shouted, I'm asking you, just answer me. Again, the witness tried to answer, saying, the mathematician said, but the INEC council again 
cursed him off. Now on top of his voice, he shouted, I did not ask you about anybody, just answer me. The witness then said, seemingly no. Okay, look, if you guys are wondering why the lawyer is being so hostile, do not sweat it. It's a tactic to unsettle the witness, to kick them off their stride, so to speak. I call it interrogational softening. It makes the witness scared and amenable to make mistakes. Anyways, the counsel now continues. Look at paragraph 9. You spoke about party agents. Confirm to my laws that you had party agents all over the polling unit. We had about 130,000 and we have extra from ADC. I didn't ask you about any party. I want from Labour Party only. We had 103. No, 130,000. Is it 103 or 130? The counsel pushed. 133,000, exactly, replied the witness. How many polling units do we have in the Federation? My lord, if I can refer to the document because I don't remember the exact figures. But the INA counsel felt he has made his point, rushed off the stage, saying, That will be all, my lord. After that, it was the turn of Bola Tinubu's lawyer. He stepped up to the mic and said, We've heard that your party had 133,000 agents. Yes, my lord. Tell the courts when you left the National Conscience Party. I joined the Labour Party on 20th May 2022. You joined before the first petitioner? Yes. In case you're wondering what he meant, guys, the first petitioner is Peter Obi. You were among those who incorporated him? Yes. In paragraph 18 of your witness statement, you gave the official result of the election as announced by INEC. But the witness smartly said, these are the results allocated to the parties. In their allocation, your party came third? Yes, my lord. In their allocation, PDP article came second. He was also allocated the results. Yes, my lord. When you voted in Abuja, your party won your polling unit? Yes. Tell my lords if your polling unit results were allocated. As the witness was about to respond saying, if, but he was cut off again by the council, who shouted, Answer, do you want the court to void the figures in your polling unit? Yes, my lord, that is what I want. But the counsel, now treated Tanko as a hostile witness, cuts him off again. Your party in the overall results won all the five eastern states and seven other states. I agreed, but, but before the witness could continue, again, the counsel cuts him off. At this point, the Labour Party counsel could not take it anymore. He jumps in again to protect his witness. He said, let him answer. Stop cutting him off. But Tinubu's counsel said, please, he has already answered. He continued his cross by saying, what is the state of origin of Peter Obi? Anambra state, responded the witness. In Anambra, Peter Obi scored 95.07%. I have not seen the figures, responded the witness.